Despite a recovering tourism industry in the city, the sector continues to face challenges. Among them are mainland tourists seeking other options and slow business in the evening hours. This as Financial Secretary Paul Chan urges Hong Kong businesses to double their efforts to enhance their nighttime attractions. Timothy Lee tells us more. Hong Kong is experiencing a recovery as more tourists flock to the city. Around 3.6 million visitors came to the SAR last month, an increase of more than 30 percent on a monthly basis. Writing on a blog post, Financial Secretary Paul Chan said the Hong Kong Tourism Board reported that tourists arriving in the city primarily to shop have decreased significantly since the pandemic. Chan added that while the city's tourism ministry was forecasted to experience a rebound later this year, Hong Kong must strive to boost its global competitiveness and attractiveness. He said a growing number of tourists are coming to the city to participate in cultural and artistic activities. The financial secretary also pointed out that the government should further promote the city's unique and creative industries, as well as revitalize the SAR's nighttime economy. Meanwhile, former Secretary for Financial Services and the Treasury, Chen Ka Kung, said the city could be a platform for foreign companies to go public and attract investment. This thing is about market opportunity. It's about getting the right companies, the good companies to come to Hong Kong to list. Basically, I think a lot of the potential uh, companies to list in Hong Kong, of course, will be Chinese companies. Okay? And perhaps uh, also including other Southeast Asian companies. I think Hong Kong should be a much better uh, platform for such companies to, talk, to go public. Uh, some of that would mean that we have to do more um, business development, uh, we may have to do more uh, uh, consultation with the, the regulators, uh, not in Hong Kong, perhaps in the mainland, perhaps in the other countries. Chan stressed that while the city's GDP growth last quarter was worse than expected, the city's economy will take a turn for the better later this year owing to the U.S. interest rate nearing its peak. Timothy Lee, TVB News.